Hello friends, my name is Faye and you're watching Mystery Date with a Book. I've been meaning to get more into adult books, so I looked for an adult audiobook on script. That's where I get all my audiobooks from. So I looked for a thriller, mystery thriller kind of thing, you know. I, I know I like that kind of story. I've, I've, I've read it before, and you know, I know it works for me. So I went on script and I saw Sock Hill Girls by... Can't remember who it's by right now, but yes. Sock Hill Girls! <laughs> and it was under Thriller, so I was like, yes, okay, I'll go for that one. And I, I had heard something about it before on Booktube. So I was like, okay. I couldn't remember what it was that was said about this book. But I remember the person being very, very positive about it, so I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. So, it turns out I read a horror book by accident. <laughs> okay, um, so it it's not really a mystery. It, it's a thriller, but it's mainly horror. And I'm not a horror person, <laughs> like I don't watch horror. I don't read horror, uh, no. <laughs> My comfort zone is YA fantasy or middle grade, you know, nice fluffy stories. Sometimes, you know, YA fantasy isn't always nice and fluffy. But anyway, um, yes, that caught me by surprise. <laughs> but there were some good things about this book which I want to get into. Overall, I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars, which is surprising given I never read horror, I'm not a big fan of horror, but I listened to it as an audiobook and the narrator, oh my goodness, she did a brilliant, brilliant job. She kept me hooked, honestly. Now, the good point of listening to this as an audiobook was the narration. Brilliant. The not so good point <laughs> about consuming this as an audiobook was that it was so real and I listened to it at night. Rookie mistake, never <laughs> read a horror book at night. It gave me nightmares. I couldn't sleep for like two nights in a row. I, I mean, honestly, it gave me nightmares. The story went a bit too far sometimes, so, you know, my poor fluffy brain couldn't cope with it. The Hufflepuff in me struggled through some parts, but I made it through, <laughs> I survived. So yes, after having those two nights of nightmares, I took a break from the audiobook. I did other things, I read other things, I listened to other things. I just took a couple of days off from that. Then I went back during the day and listened to the rest of it and I finished it and yes, um, there were some good points about it. There was really good diversity. The characters were very diverse, whether we're talking about race, skin color, background, um, gender, like, honestly, all sorts of diversity were in there, honestly. Uh, that was really good. I really did enjoy that. But... On the other side, there were some slow parts because it wasn't a mystery. We knew who the baddie of the story was. So it, like, it, we were halfway through the audiobook and I kind of felt the story wrapping up, you know? I thought, okay, we're about to finish now. It's because, you know, everybody knows who the baddie is. Now, one of the good things, again, was the atmosphere of the book. It was really well done, it was creepy, it was mysterious in a way. I mean, I'm talking about the setting, not the story. Um, yes, it, it was good. The atmosphere was really good. Uh, but one of the bad points, and that's why I gave it a 4 out of 5 and not 4.5. Um, it, it was never going to be a 5 star anyway for me. <laughs> so I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars because it was very men hating you know i'm all for women empowerment and you know equality and you know girls doing what they want but it was very 
war on men, you know, all men are evil, all men are here to destroy us. And that's just not the case in real life, come on. I mean, <laughs> you know, to dismiss a book just because a man wrote it, you know, it's not right. You know, the way I look at it, if it was the other way around, if it was a group of boys and they were dismissing clues because a girl wrote it, there would be riot on booktube about this. I'm just saying. Now, it's not fair to do it the other way around either. If it's a group of girls and they dismiss things and see certain characters in, in a bad light just because of their gender, that's not right either. That really bugged me. Like, it wasn't just once or twice in the book. It, it yeah, it wasn't, it didn't sit well with me. So I bumped the score down a bit. Four out of five stars is still a pretty good score. Let's be fair. So yes, I read a horror book by accident. <laughs> now I can already tick that off my list. I've read a horror book. I can say I tried. <laughs> Because as soon as I realized it was horror, I was already invested in the story. I, I wasn't going to stop listening to the audiobook. So, yeah. Now, I have to say, overall, the book was really, really good. It was gripping. It was creepy. It was very explicit at times. It's an adult book, just so you know. Um, it was very explicit in the way the victims were killed. It was very gross <laughs> in a way but the end got kind of weird like the ending of the story was a bit strange I don't know I didn't really like the end I thought it was a bit weird <laughs> I know it's supernatural and all that but uh, no I didn't like the end anyway um, overall a good book if you like thrillers and horror and all that I say read it read Sakio Girls it is a really good book but if you're not into you know, monsters eating girls, then don't read it, maybe. <laughs> if you're not into having nightmares, maybe don't read it at night. <laughs> so yes, that was my book review for Sakio Girls by somebody. I'm gonna put up sides yeah, here, yeah. <laughs> so yes, if you like this video, if you want to see more, you know what to do, click that like. Subscribe, click the bell, leave a comment, everything, do the whole shebang. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. But, uh, where was I going with this?